Hi, in, in Excel, we have rows upon rows of numbers, and often uh, we have a lot of zero values in there. And it's often beneficial to suppress those zero values uh, because that will make our uh, sheet or table more readable. Now, how do I do that? I mean, obviously I cannot delete the value zero or you know, if there's a formula in the background, I cannot simply delete the formula. So I need a way to suppress those zeros. And the way to do that is with custom formats. And the way you do that is you go over format and cells and you immediately, now I'm in, I'm in LibreOffice. In Excel, you would have a, a, at the bottom here, you'd have a custom formats or user defined formats. And you'd get a, 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 you know, a line like that. And that's where you write your, that's where you write your custom format. Now, in Excel, uh, a custom format is something like that 0, 0.00 semicolon minus 0 semicolon and I explain what that means the part before the first semicolon that concerns the positive numbers so here I'm saying all my positive numbers oh uh, I forgot to do something I forgot to select so I'm, I first I gotta select the column and then format cells and now I go and I start. Like I said, in Excel, you have to go here to user define. In LibreOffice, you just simply write in the, the code. And I write down the code that I written previously. So what that means, the, the part before the first semicolon, that concerns the positive numbers. And here, I want my positive numbers to have two places behind the decimal point. The part after that sem first the semicolon and uh, ahead of the second semicolon that part here that concerns the negative numbers and here I would like to have a minus symbol ahead of the negative numbers and They should have no decimal places and that part behind the second semicolon that relates or that format relates to those zero values so in this case I want my zero values to be depicted as a minus or a you know a, a hyphen Let's try it out and there you go. You see my positive numbers have two places after the decimal point. My negative numbers are whole numbers or depicted as whole numbers. And my zero values are depicted as a hyphen. So basically, if we want to suppress those zero values, the way we go about it is cells. Instead of a hyphen, I just put an empty string. An empty string is two double quotes. That's it. So now all my zeros are depicted as nothing. And if I want, and sometimes, in many applications, negative numbers are basically there because the formula calculated these, but they have no meaning. They are, you know, it's best to not show them. So if you want to suppress the negative numbers as well, no problem, you know. Wait a minute. So in this format, I'm saying, okay, my positive numbers, they should have two places after the decimal place. My negative numbers are suppressed, hence the empty string as well as my zero values, they're also suppressed, hence that empty string here as well. Okay, there you go. And you got it all. And that's how you, now the table, if you notice, is much more readable than having all that, those useless values in there. And that's the way you suppress uh, zero values in Excel. By the way, in, uh, in, in, in Excel, oops, let me, let me, uh, in Excel, and LibreOffice that works in Excel you can also write that without those empty quotes but that doesn't work as well in LibreOffice I mean I try it out here and you see the zeros don't get suppressed so if you want if you want the formula which works in LibreOffice and in Excel use those use those empty quotes yeah like the thing I showed you before don't just put the semicolons like this but use the empty quotes one for the negative numbers and one for the zero values. Go and that works. And that works in Excel as well.